I think I can say with, beyond a shadow of a doubt that with the scriptures, I have completely destroyed Arminianism. And um, all the other arguments that you heard had, were nothing to do with the scriptures. They had scriptures that they thought could back them up. I've destroyed every single one of them and turned them on their head and proved to them that there's no possible way that they can escape what the scriptures say. They have been beaten. They may not even know they've been beaten. They may not even look into what I say. But they have absolutely been beaten. And the thing is, is that now that I have enough ammunition to completely and totally obliterate them, they have to run and hide. You see, there was a rift that happened uh, between me and friends that wasn't, that wasn't nice. And I, I still care about those people. But the truth is, is that, is that there was a whole ser series of videos done attacking Calvinism and saying it was evil and demonizing me as a Calvinist or demonizing Calvinism itself as an evil doctrine. Calvinism is the truth of God. And I don't even call it Calvinism because it's actually the Bible itself. And, um, you know, and I, I have beaten it in every one of my videos. As you go through all the videos that I've done lately, <clears throat> every single one of them lays every one of your proof texts bare, wide open, on it, and completely destroyed. The question is, is if you're humble enough to swallow your pride and admit it. And the reason why that's important, first of all, is because I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep on hammering this. And you know how apt I am, or apt I am, by the grace of God, to bring out the Holy Scriptures in such a way that it's irrefutable. I can beat you. I have beaten you. And I will keep beating you. And the other problem is, is that sooner or later it's going to get back to you. People are going to see what I say compared to all the work that you've done against me, and they're going to see that no matter what you've said, no matter how you've demonized it, no how you've put it, how you've made it evil, the truth is, is that I have the scriptures on my side, and I've used them completely and totally to take all the ways that you've twisted the scriptures, and I've untwisted them and put them in their straight order. So you can go to any one of my videos, which nobody has. And I know why, because nobody has the ability to refute them. Nobody. I know, because they're the truth, and they're, and they're ironclad. You, you, may, you may explain them away with lies, but you're not going to beat them on their face for what they say. Anyway, I don't hate anybody. I never did. I caught a lot of hatred in my direction from a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about. And I just thoroughly, completely destroyed every argument that they have. There's none left. You're beaten. I'm sorry to say. Um, I've heard every blasphemy over the Holy Spirit. Gone. All right. First John 2.2, 2, <laughs> compare that to, to Romans 3.25 and Rome, just Romans 3 itself and you see that, that, that there's no, that, that without propitiation, Jesus is the propitiation for all who believe. It's like, oh, well, you, it, it, the only sin that's left is the sin of unbelief. No. The propitiation in his blood, according to Romans chapter 3, is for all, or comes through belief. So propitiation and the remission of sins through his blood are only taken away through faith. So if you don't have faith, you have no remission of sin. So Jesus' blood does not cover the whole world. And I pointed that out very clearly. Um, it's not about me winning or, or, or who losing. It's about the truth of the Bible coming forth and people trying to slander it because they don't want to hear what it has to say. And in that case, I will defend my God and defend, and defend the scriptures every time. And I have done so. For, by the grace of God and because it's my duty to do so. But it's hard to lose friends over that. And I'm sorry about that, people. I'm not out to hurt anybody, but I'm not going to let the truth be maligned. That's my, my job is to defend it, and I have done so. Thank you.